Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi and welcome to Postscript. I'm Luann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director, and I'm here with Bible teacher Duffy Robbins, who just came back with us for the second Sunday in a row yep. uh, to deliver a message called Lead Us Not Into Temptation, Deliver Us from Evil. Right. Um, yeah, so we looked at this last section of the Lord's Prayer today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so we had one question that came around, uh, which is kind of a clarifying question. Yeah, it's a good um, question, too. It is a good question. So uh, the question says, why would Jesus pray for the Father not to lead us into testing when James says to consider testing per pure joy? And that this sentiment is also repeated throughout the New Testament. So 1 John, 1 Peter. It seems like that we should want to look forward to testing, not to avoid it. Right, right. No, I, I think the logic of the question it makes perfect sense. But, but um, here's a couple of comments. First of all, James does say, Consider joy, my brothers, when you meet various trials, for you know the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. But he never says, he never says, you know, pray for trials. Mm. Um, and, and, and in fact, um, it would in a way be a little bit, uh, a little bit ludicrous. It wouldn't be taking trials seriously. Like, I, I, like um, I, I think I know people who have grown through cancer. They, they, they will say, I have become a deeper person through cancer. Uh, but they're not, but, but they're not saying, so you ought to pray, you're going to have cancer, you know? Mm -hmm. Or I know, I, I don't know if this is true medically, but I've heard people say when a bone breaks, it grows back stronger. Mm -hmm. Let's just assume that's true. You, you, you're not going to say, hey, I really need more strength in my left leg. So I think I'll break it in several places, you know? So, so in, in a sense, uh, to recognize, James says, when you meet various trials, consider it a joy. He's saying, this is, this is an attitude I am to maintain in the trials because I know, in a sense, there's a silver lining to the, what appears to be a very dark cloud. But he's not saying that you should pray that you will have trials. Another way to think about it, I guess, is to, there, there's, a, there's a book by a guy named Gene Edwards called um, Tale of Three Kings, and the subtitle is A Study in Brokenness. And when I've read that book and when I've talked about it with my students, um, I will often say to them, I don't know if you're really prepared for your best ministry until you've gone through a time mm. of intense brokenness. But at the same time, I usually say to them, I'm not praying that God will take me through such a time. I'm just acknowledging that there are parts of my life that won't get excavated mm. unless I face those times. And I think in a sense, when we pray these words, uh, lead us not into testing in Matthew 6, 13, what we're also saying is, Lord, I'm not so conceited or so arrogant as to think, hey, bring it on, dude. Mm -hmm. I can handle whatever you got. Yeah. It's going to be joy in me. Just bring it on. And there's mm -hmm. a humility that says, look, Lord, please don't put me to the test. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, weak. I'm, not, I'm weak. Yeah, I'm weak. Right. <laughs> so, so it's saying, I'm not, I know you, you can be trusted. Uh, and I know you will only lead me where a father would lead a child, hmm. but I, I'm, I'm, lead me not in temptation, lead me not in the testing. So, so to sort of, you know, to say, well, you know, why don't we pray this more? Is it, it's, it's because we take suffering seriously. We're not Gnostics. We don't believe, well, that's just my body. This is me. M me, I am my body. And so my body is broken. That hurts. And I mm -hmm. take pain seriously. God takes our pain seriously. But in the midst of our pain, mm. he can bring, ironically, great healing. Mm. And so we can count it a joy when we meet various trials. Mm -hmm. But we're encouraged, you know, Lord, if possible. Jesus himself said, let this cup pass from mm -hmm. me. So that, that would be my response to the question. Yeah, that's great. Well, um, today's message was great and uh, Venture Sunday was super fun. Very fun. Super fun. And so it's always a joy to have you with us here, Duffy. We can't wait for you to come back again. Looking so forward to thank it. Thank you for being here. And thank you for joining us today for Postscript. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org slash postscript.